Jekyllus Painting here, and today we're going to learn how to weather some battle tech. I'm going to start off with some sponge weathering. I've got a piece of little foam here, just ripped it up on the ends, and I'm grabbing a really dark brown paint. This is Dark Stone from Army Painter. You can use black, you can use brown, you can use really dark gray. It all depends on the base color of your model, but this really dark brown goes well against the blue and it'll still show up after weathering. And we're just going to be touching that around the model very gingerly in a few different places. When you get paint in your sponge, make sure to dab most of that paint out on your palette or on a piece of paper towel so that you don't have these massive splotches of paint on your model. We want just little bits of it to go onto the model. And this first step is basically going to make all of our paint chips stand out on the model. Think of it like giving your paint chips a drop shadow, making them look 3D on the model. So I'm just gonna go around the model, doing some sponge weathering, putting that dark stone on there, and then we'll move on to our next step. Next, I'm gonna grab some Shining Silver. This is a pretty nice steel color paint. It's gonna look like fresh scratched metal. And I'm going to repeat the first step with this silver paint, trying to dab that sponge in the same general area as our dark stone. And that way, those little paint chips look like chipped metal. You can see that bare metal showing through having our mech look nice and weathered. Again, you wanna be kind of conservative with this, be ginger, don't do massive splotches of silver paint on there. Less is more, so make sure you don't put too much and just go over those same areas and it'll help get that kind of rusted, dirty, chipped paint look all over our mech. And because this is a smaller scale, you want to make sure that your paint chipping is a little bit smaller too than you would normally do for a larger scale game. That way it'll look nice. Next we're going to get out some greedy gold and we're going to do the cockpit. This is a really easy way to do these kind of shiny yellow glass cockpits on these tiny models. This is kind of something that uh, has carried over from MechWarrior Online because they have that kind of reflective gold glass on all the uh, cockpits. And this gold paint will get that look really nice. Next, we're gonna do a wash pulling out some strong tone, some dark tone, and some quick shade wash mixing medium from the Army Painter. Just a drop of that mixing medium and then equal parts strong tone and dark tone to get a brown, black, dirty wash. We're gonna add in a little bit of flow improver and a little bit of water and stir that up into a nice mixture. And you're looking for a really, really dark, almost black brown look that's really thin. You can see there on my skin how it goes right into all the details in my skin there. And we're just going to be slathering that all over the model. When you're doing this, you can uh, pin wash it. You can slather it all on there. You can dab it onto certain areas and let it flow by its own. Uh, this guy, we kind of want a little dirty. A lot of the mechs in Battletech are hundreds of years old. So we want this guy to look kind of weathered, kind of old, a little dirty. So I'm putting all that wash all over the model and then I'm getting my brush in some clean water and then moving my brush around on the model to help that wash get into the recesses and wick away any excess wash because we don't want big puddles of wash all over this guy. We just want a nice brown black wash in all of the panel details and to dinge up our paint colors a little bit, not too much. 
So that's why I'm wicking away all the excess. Finally, I'm going to pull out some matte black and I'm going to black out our base because it had a bunch of airbrush color on there. And then I'm going to put some in the airbrush and very gently build up some black carbon soot on the model in a few different areas around the guns, missile pods, maybe some joints or exhaust vents, things like that. And it's going to help this guy look kind of battle weathered from his lasers going off, from those missiles firing, maybe from a few impacts here or there. That little bit of black carbon buildup really helps sell that this guy is stomping around in a battlefield, getting mech kills. When you paint these guys, uh, you can put terrain on the bases. I'm not really gonna go into that on this video just because we're focusing on the mech itself. But remember, this is a smaller scale, so when you do your basing, go smaller than what you're normally used to. So ex for an example, if you want to do desert, don't use actual sand, because it's actually going to be way too coarse for something of this scale. Go with something like baking soda, which is a much finer grit, and will actually look like real sand compared to this giant stomping mech. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you next time.